Hey guys, today we're going to talk about the curvature you get when you sling a ball. So there's a force called the Magnus force that acts on any object traveling through the air with spin. So if you have a ball that's traveling this direction and it's spinning like this, the top of the ball will see a higher velocity airstream than the bottom. And essentially you get a more drag and that puts a force which is downward. So that's not the best explanation. Go look on YouTube, there's better explanations. But that's it in a nutshell. So if you have a spin like this, it'll cause the curve, the ball to curve downward. Alternatively, if you have backspin, so it's spinning like this, the bottom is seeing a higher velocity airstream and that puts an upward force. So the ball will go up. And so that's why when you put backspin on a golf ball, you get, you get further carry. And it's the same with slinging. You have, you have a spinning ball, it will start to curve if that axis of curvature or the axis of spin is not in the direction of travel. So if I have a ball going towards the camera and the axis of spin is perfectly like this, there's the, the velocity of air that's going across the surface is the same everywhere, so there's no Magnus force. But as soon as I tilt that axis of spin, there will start to be a bit of a Magnus force uh, because it will start to, the different parts of the ball see different uh, velocities of air. So um, that's, that's what happens when you sling. And the spin that's put on a ball is caused by the interaction of the ball with the sling. So if you have, you know, everything has inertia. So, you know, the sling is attached to your hand, doesn't want to go anywhere. The ball wants to always continue straight, but when you're, uh, you know, when you're holding on to the sling, it can't because the sling's constraining it. But as soon as you release the release cord, the ball wants to continue going straight. Uh, and it takes a little bit of time for this release cord to get out of the way. So as the ball's continuing to go straight, it's kind of pulling on the, the top of the sling. It's getting a lot of pressure. The sling swing, still slinging, or swinging around this way, and that starts the ball rolling. As soon as the release cord is far enough out of the way, it'll go forward, but it's already rolling. So that's what puts spin on your ball. If you have the sling oriented anything but in this position, so if you have it tilted back or you have it tilted forward, you're, get, you're going to get different types of spin just a different axis. The axis of the spin is going to be pointing differently. So if you, to get a perfectly rifled release, the sling needs to be like this. If the sling is pointed downward, it's going to cause the axis of spin to be pointed downward, and that will cause your ball to curve to the right. A uh, more common thing, at least what happens to me, I think it happens to Channing, is the sling is tilted backwards, the top of the sling is tilted backwards, and that causes the axis to be pointed a little bit up, axis of spin to be pointed up, and that causes the ball to curve down. So how you can control that is with two different things. Uh, you can um, control your wrist orientation when you sling, and you can also try changing slings. Um, so the first thing is wrist orientation. So if, I, if I'm releasing my, uh, my ball like this, the sling's oriented like that. If I pronate my wrist or turn it downward, I can get the top of the sling to uh, go forward and you've got that axis pointed down so you'll get it to curve more to the right. Alternatively if you supinate your wrist so you can think of that to remember supination you're holding a cup of soup. I saw that on another guy's YouTube channel. Uh, that will cause the, the axis of spin to be pointed upward and you'll get a curve to the left. Um, there's also Depending on the sling, so I have a couple different slings. Oh, jeez. Just knocked over my tripod. So I've got a couple different slings, uh, a heavy Balearic sling and a, a light sisal sling with light cords. Um, you know, there's different, amount, different amounts of inertia within the release cords. So it takes a little bit more time for a heavy sling to get out of the way than it does for a light sling. And so that can also impart different, not, not different amounts of spin, but it can have a more of a tendency to be axis up or axis down. For example, this one is, has a tendency more to be axis uh, up, so it curves down left. And this one tends to be uh, more axis down, so it curves uh, to the right. And I'll demonstrate that with my, I've got my radar gun set up to try to throw these tennis balls about the same speed. 
and uh, demonstrate that if you use a different sling and you use a different wrist orientation, you can change the spin. Okay, so first, first up, we'll try my light sling. Actually, you know what? Let's do the my Balearic style. This is my favorite type of sling, at least currently. And uh, I tend to get a, a curve down to the left, which means that the sling is tilted back when I release. So here we go. No 65. You saw that curvature left. So now I'm going to try uh, pronating my wrist more so that the sling's not tilted back as much. And this should make it go straighter. Oops, threw it a little too hard that time. But you can see both of those, there was very little curvature uh, down and left. So if you pronate a lot, I might be able to get the curve to the right, but I haven't been able to do it with this thing yet. So if I change slings, This one tends to curve more to the right because the front of the sling is uh, more far forward, so the spin axis is pointed down. But you can see that curve to the right. Okay, so now to try to combat that, I'm going to try supinating my wrist, so turning it up. So that was a little bit straighter, I think. Uh, but wrist orientation, as well as sling type, can really affect how the spin axis is pointing. Uh, you know, so, so you can get different amounts of curvature depending on those two things. Okay, we're gonna go heavy sling, normal, and then more pronated, and then light sling, normal, and then supinated.